it's not ideal, I suppose, for, for both parties as well, you know, for Yeovil as well. It's not just about about us uh, in terms of, you know, the, the preparation that you would like to have. Uh, so, yeah, no, it's it's not ideal, but it's it's something you've got to, You've got to beat an encounter in football. I haven't known a season with, with this many uh, potential postponements. I mean, to get snow like that in the middle of March is, is bonkers, isn't it, really? So, it, that can't be helped. We've got the covers on the pitch. I was on the pitch this morning and there's areas underneath the covers that, you know, where you can see the grass and it's like a carpet underneath. But obviously, my nose is a big a big freeze coming tonight. Uh, but with the work of Josh the groundsman and the... And the, and the luck of the gods, hopefully, that, uh, that the covers will do their job and we can get another three points tomorrow. So we go into the game on the uh, back of successive away victories. Uh, what's that done for morale amongst the squad? Done lots. It's done lots for the supporters, I think, because, uh, you know, it's football. When you when you do on a bad run, you, everyone, there's little seeds of doubt going in your head. Uh, we all get them and you remain positive and strong, but the sooner you get that win and turn the corner, those, those seeds of doubt tend to disappear. So... We've got rid of them now. Hopefully, our supporters have, have got rid of them too. Uh, but they only stay away, those seeds of doubt, if you maintain your performance and results. And might no better time to, to, to play in front of those supporters tomorrow. We paid them a bit for following us all the way to Gateshead and South Ends uh, by putting on a good show in front of hopefully six, 7,000 tomorrow. And we've got a first look at new signing Andrew Dallas, who had a run out in midweek. How's he fitted in? Yeah, very well. Really good lad. Uh, he's very current, you know, with his with his with his name at this level. He's a goal scorer. He played numerous positions in the attacking half, uh, and I think he'll he'll complement the players we've got if and when when chosen to play. Uh, what's great is it's not just a given. He's going to come straight in the team. I'm sure, support, I'm sure supporters want to see him play as soon as possible. I think that you know your likes of uh, Jez and Coco and, and Bandy and, and Amaka started the game and did ever so well the other night. So uh, we'll see what what. What happens tomorrow? Uh, all we know is whatever team we put out, it's uh, it won't be it won't be a weaker one, and that's the main thing. And Lawrence Maguire has come back into the side and managed to get a goal on Tuesday night, uh, and uh, he's taken his opportunity too well. Yeah, and uh, he's been very patient and uh, he's trained well, carried himself well, been really professional. When when he hasn't played, he's he sort of supported the boys who played, and he's he's stepped in obviously not in his natural position, but he's playing left back in, in that system, the way we play. Is it that different from left of a three at the back? Probably not. Certain principles remain the same for that position. So, yeah, it, it's uh, it's a position that he, I don't think he's played many times before, but he's, you know, he's, he's really taken to it ever so well. You know, we've got good credit still to Bailey and Brandon, who've done ever so well this season when called upon. So, it was just a, ch- ch- uh, just a sense of freshening it up, giving something a bit different. And last two games, it's worked. And uh, a word about um, DJ Oldacre being called up to the England C squad. Fantastic for him. Brilliant for him. Uh, and obviously, it's not all the glamour that the, the Premier League tends to bring at the National League. So it is some, a lot of it is about memories, whether you're a player, fan or, or staff member. And we're all good memories of, of our careers, whatever levels they are or were. Uh, and DJ at, at the moment made his name predominantly in non-league football and he, he'll want to change that and get into the league and, and be a successful footballer for years to come but to get a call up for, for, for your country or whatever whatever level is something that no one can take away from him And what do you make of the challenge that's likely to be presented by Yeovil? Be tough they're in a different position us you know that Mark Cooper's teams always play a certain way. How much that way they'll play tomorrow, I don't know, because they're they're down the bottom. And recent years with Forest Green and, and Swindon, especially, that these teams are up near the top. So uh, I'd be interested to see the style that they approach. And yes, yes, I'm sure they'll have pressure uh, on their shoulders. Like we've got pressure. It's a different pressure, but I'd much rather have our pressure, believe me. 